Who says that all customers must be treated equally? Who says all franchisees must be treated equally? Both ideas are nonsense. Hi, this is John Hayes with FranchiseMastermind.com, continuing my discussion about customer valuation and about the importance of you capturing and keeping the right customers, turning them into fans, and bringing them back to your business time after time, hopefully for years. And what better place to talk about customer value and customer entitlement than Las Vegas, Nevada. Here I am at the Las Vegas Hilton, where later today I'm going to speak to a major shopping center and real estate convention. Earlier today, I went to the buffet, and rather than stand in line with all the other customers who showed up for the buffet, I got to move to the front of the line, to where the VIPs are invited to get to the buffet line all that much sooner. Now, am I just bragging about the fact that I got an opportunity that others did not? Not at all. I'm telling you this for a specific reason. The Hilton is able to differentiate their best customers. The Hilton knows who to give those customer entitlements to. Through the years, I've been staying at the Hilton, and I've been bringing a lot of convention business to the Hilton, hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of convention business, mostly because the Hilton is located adjacent to the Las Vegas Convention Center. Very convenient for franchise companies and others that want to have conventions. And so the Hilton, recognizing this, wants to make sure they take care of a good customer, a customer who brings them business year in and year out. Now, the reason the Hilton is able to do this is because they differentiate their customers customers by their performance. Are you able to do that? You must be able to do that. As a franchisor, you must know who your best franchisees are, and as a franchisee, you must know your best customers, and you must be able to differentiate them and identify them by what entitlements they're entitled to. What do they deserve? You know, the franchisee who just uh, does what's expected of them, pays their royalties and follows the system, well, that's what they agreed to do. They're not doing anything special. They're not outstanding in, in any particular manner, at least not by performance. And so there's nothing there to, to reward beyond what you would normally give to a franchisee. And the customer who comes in and pays you for a product or a service, well, they're entitled to a great product or a great service, but really nothing more. It's the franchise or the customer who comes, comes back to you repeatedly, who performs above the average who you want to give the entitlements to. But you can't do that if you haven't been able to differentiate your customers, if you haven't tracked your customers by their performance. You've got to start doing that. If you're not doing it now, you must begin immediately. Do it on a monthly basis, at least do it on a quarterly basis. Now, I'll tell you this, most franchisors, most franchisees, and most small business owners do not differentiate their customers by their performance and therefore they're not able to reward them by the entitlements they deserve. It's an important point. It's something for you to think about. More importantly, it's something for you to begin doing immediately. Start tracking the performance of your customers and differentiate them so that you know who your best customers are, who your best franchisees are, and then you can reward them appropriately. This is John Hayes with FranchiseMastermind.com and HowToBuyFranchise.com.